Hey guys, this is Post Production Pi with SRLounge.com. Now in this chapter, we're gonna focus strictly on customizing Lightroom. We're gonna customize the interface, our metadata uh, default values, as well as our watermarks. So let's get started. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna modify and customize our identity plate, which if you guys remember, is this plate that goes right across the top, which shows the modules as well as this logo on the left. So to get there, we need to go into the edit file menu or sorry, the edit menu. Uh, we're gonna drop down to identity plate setup. And here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna first hit enable identity plate. So it's gonna enable a, a, a custom identity plate. So we have an option to either type in text here or we can use a graphical identity plate. Of course, if you type in text, this is gonna work just uh, how a text editor would work. It's really self-explanatory. You put in your text, you choose your font, your size, your color. But what's cooler is if you use this graphical identity plate to use your studio logo or whatever logo you guys wanna use. So we're gonna use the graphical identity plate. When you select that, it's gonna to say to locate a file. You can either drag it into this space and it can contain transparency. Uh, now what that means is basically, I'll actually show you guys what it means because it's a little bit hard to understand. So we're gonna do this. We're gonna locate a file. And uh, I have on our exercise files, we have two logos of the SR Lounge logo. Now this first one I'm gonna show you is slightly too large. You guys have about 45 to 48 pixels of height, max 50 on this identity plate. Otherwise it's gonna start cutting things off and I'm gonna show you guys what that looks like. So you can see this logo, it actually has the top piece cut off because it runs into this little arrow bar that goes all the way across. So you have basically like around, I, kind of around, I think the max is about 50 pixels in height and you guys can go quite long as far as the uh, width of it goes. But you have about 50 pixels in height, otherwise it's gonna be cut off. So I prepped a second uh, file. Now the second file that I have, we have, uh, it's a PNG versus the first one is a JPEG. So a PNG, if you save a f your logo as a PNG, you can actually have transparency. So you'll notice that you'll see an edge on the left side and an edge on the bottom, and I also shrunk the size up to be a max of 48 pixels tall, whereas this one I think was like 50 something. Let's see how, yeah, that one was 59 pixels. So that top 10, top nine pixels got cut off. So we're gonna select this one. The left, and you're gonna see this in a second, this left side transparency and bottom transparency are gonna create a space between the left and the, uh, and the bottom of the window, and we'll show you guys how it looks. So it fits nicely, it's flush along this edge, and we have a little bit of space between that and the left panel, so it looks really nice. Uh, and the sizing for that, we can tell you guys the exact size for this was, I believe it was 48 pixels tall, and then it had a eight pixel transparency on the bottom, and like a uh, eight or 10 pixel transparency on the left side. I think it was 10 pixels on the left side. So if that helps you guys out, you guys can kind of customize just Feel free to, you know, as you guys are doing it, just save it one out, try it out, see if it looks right. If it doesn't, just do it again and modify as you go to get it to look exactly the way you want. So we're gonna have that selected. We have our image. If you guys need to clear it, you guys can clear it here or you can just select another file. Um, and that looks great like that. The next options we have is to customize the typeface for the modules. Um, now I like it kind of the way it's set, but if you guys want to customize the font, you guys can choose a different font. You guys can also choose a different font weight. So either regular bold italic or bold italic um, and a different font size and color. Now, again, I like these set to default. I might end up changing my size just to be a little bit larger. Actually, that is way too big. So we're just gonna leave that at 18. Um, and then you can change the color if you like. Once again, I think the defaults look fine here. So I'm just gonna leave those the way they are. All right, guys, and the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna save this identity plate setting. We're gonna hit save as, and I'm gonna type in SLR lounge. Now this way I can create different identity plates for different things. So I have my SLR lounge identity plate. I can create an identity plate just for my studio. So if I have a client coming in, I might switch to a Lin and Jersa identity plate. Whereas the rest of the time when I'm doing tutorials and stuff like that, I'll use the SR lounge identity plate. So you guys can save these different preferences and I'd recommend that you do so that you actually have them and you can switch easily from identity plate to different identity plate. All right guys, we're gonna hit okay and we're done with our identity plate. Let's go to the next tutorial.